My, my. If it isn't Hawk. Elegant. Lady elegant, if you don't mind. I'm a married woman now. Last time we met, you were still in Athenral's employ. Things have been going well since then. Could be better. Could be worse. I often feel the same way. You may recall I sometimes provided potions for Athenral. I'd be willing to extend you the same courtesy if you like. All I ask is you inform me of any interesting reagents you find. In exchange, I'll approach my contacts on your behalf. And of course you'll need the appropriate recipes, such as this one. Free, for old time's sake. Okay, this is just somebody. I'm not entirely sure what her deal is. Her name's Elegant. It's weird. But if I want to buy stuff from her, this is where I buy it from. I don't actually talk to her or just look at her table. The, uh... She's dressed rather well for somebody who lives in this slummy part of town. But let's move on. Let's go complete this little thing here. Okay, we're outside of the city. You don't go... Well, you do go outside of the city, but you don't go far outside of the city. This is in the area around it. So let's take a look. Oh, something to kill. Spiders! Cursed me, I don't have any melee characters in my group. <laughs> but it did level up, so that's good. Okay, so who do we have out here? Looks like somebody's living here. There's stuff all over the place. Old Shemlin, your kind are not welcome among the Dalish. What's a Shemlin? It means you're not one of the people, and you should leave now. Who are you people? We are the last of the Elven. Keep that in mind, Hawk. Elves you see elsewhere, figments of your imagination. <laughs> They've given up their identity to live among Shemlin. They're Elven no more. I was given an amulet for someone named Marathari. How do you know that name? Wait, this is the one the Keeper spoke of. A Shemlin? I thought she'd be an elf. Enter the camp. Keeper Marathari has been waiting for you. Cause trouble, and you'll meet our blades, stranger. Marathari? I was told to bring you this amulet. And Aranatishan, travelers. Indeed, I am Keeper Marathari. Let me look at you. It has been a long, hard journey to this place. And it's far from over. Tell me how this burden fell to you, child. 
Your guard said you spoke of me. How did you know I was coming? I listened. To the wind, to the birds, as the hunters do, to my dreams. I watched the stars. There is great wisdom to be found all around us, if you know how to listen for it. But I was not certain. Nothing is certain. Are you the leader of these days? Why did the witch tell me to bring this amulet to you? I am the keeper of this clan. It is my task to guide my people and to ensure the old ways are not forgotten. As for Asha Belathar, I am tied to her, just as you are, by a debt that must be repaid. This amulet's owner rescued my family from the Blight. In return, I agreed to bring it to you. I honor you for coming to me. But I'm afraid your part in this is not done yet. The amulet must be taken to an altar at the top of the mountain, and given a Dalish rite for the departed. Then, return the amulet to me. Do this and your debt will be repaid. Are you going to teach me this rite for the departed? I will send my first with you. She will see to it the ritual is done. And when it is complete, I must ask that you take her with you when you go. Who is your first? First of what? Your people would call her my apprentice, or heir. Meryl would have taken my place as keeper. But she has chosen a new path. Please, guide her safely from here. That seems a little odd. It is her wish, and I must grant it. You'll find Meryl waiting for you on the trail just up the mountain. Dareth Shira. This mountain is cursed, I swear. Three days in a row, I've shot at All right, we gotta go find this Meryl. Uh, she's up this way. Here. You must be the one the Keeper told me about. Anethera. I'm so sorry. I didn't ask your name. Unless... It's not rude to ask a human their name, is it? I'm Meryl, which you probably knew already. I'm rambling, sorry. Why are you leaving the Dalish for Kirkwall? I have to. Let's leave it at that for now, all right? I get the feeling you're in trouble. It's not like that. Not exactly. Anyway, the Keeper and I have disagreements, but it will sort itself out in time. Did you hear that strange noise? Oh, I didn't hear anything. You seem awfully nervous. I've never met a human before. Dalish mothers frighten their children with stories about you, you know. Not you, personally, of course. I'm sure they don't have any tales about you. Or not scary ones, at least. Not that you're not notable enough to have a story. I'll just shut up now. You'll have to work harder than that to offend me. My name's Hawk. Thank you. I'm afraid I'm not very experienced with your kind. The Keeper said you came from Ferelden. I spent most of my life there. We only came north a few years ago. Have you been in the free marches long? Do you like it here? I've lived in Kirkwall for a year now. It's a good place to get a fresh start. Really? I hope you're right. We should go. Your task is for Asha Belena. It's not wise to make her wait. What do we have to do with the amulet? It's a funeral of sorts. I'll perform it when we get to the mountaintop. Getting there is the tricky part. Our hunters haven't been able to reach the summit. Dark things are about. 
I take it you've been expecting me to bring this amulet for some time. The Keeper brought us here to wait for you. I don't know much more than that. I do know that you have Asha Belenar's amulet. And we must bring it to the altar on the mountaintop. Nothing more. Do you know the witch who sent me here? No. Not personally. My people tell stories of her, though. You're very lucky. Most people who meet Asha Belenar wind up in little pieces. Hanging from the trees. Let's get this over with. Okay, so we have met Meryl. It's sort of a long walk to the graveyard. I hope you wore comfortable shoes. If your only experience with this game series is by watching my videos that I have been put on this uh, Let's Play series, and meaning that the only experience with Dragon Age Origins was what I had done, you would not be aware of the fact that Meryl is a returning character from the game Dragon Age Origins. She was in fact a member, she was... She came out of the Dalish Elf origin story, a character that existed for a short time and accompanied your, your character for a little bit, and then disappeared and didn't really have any importance after that. The Keeper didn't mention you were a mage. All Keepers know a bit of old magic. The stories tell us that all Elven once had the gift. But like so many things, it was lost. It's a Keeper's job to remember. To restore what we can. Can't demons possess Dalish mages? It can happen. And when it does, the clan must hunt and kill their own keeper. Does the Chantry know about the Dalish mages? Oh, they know. Keeper Marathari told me that was one of the reasons we never camped too long in one place. They usually won't pursue us if we stay away from the cities and towns and keep moving. And no one minds having to pick up and move over and over just to protect a few of you. Why would they mind? Once we've picked over a hunting ground, there's no reason to stay. But my clan is now in more danger, having lost our Hala. If you go to Kirkwall, you'll be an apostate in a city full of Templars. I know. But if I don't go to Kirkwall, I'll be alone. A solitary elf is easy prey for anyone. In the city, I can get lost in the crowd. Please keep turning skeletons into toads for us. But I never... Uh... Right. Not literally. Happy to help. I've done a little fighting before, but it, it was always alone. I'll try not to hit anyone. On our side, I mean. I'm babbling again. Let's go. Okay, yeah, she was a she was a, a part of the Dalish Elf origin story. As a result, well, I didn't see her while going through the previous the playthrough of the previous game. The character design is different as all uh, differences in characters are between the different uh, between the two games. On one hand, Meryl does, um, she is remaining consistent with the depiction of elves in the particular games which she appeals and appears in, but in reality her character does look quite a bit different than what she looked like back in the original game. Now she does have the sort of Dalish characteristics of the kind of, where is she at? There she is. The pointy ears and the, uh, Tattoo, well, it's not a tattoo, it's face paint. Paint on her face, that kind of thing. But she, she, following the traditions that they had shown in the, in the, uh, zoom. Well, I'm stuck zoomed in for some reason. <laughs> Marilyn, the first game, looked like a majority of elves in the game. She was short, she looked like a human, only shorter with pointy ears. In this game, she is she is taller and more slender to follow 
with the way that the elves look like in the game Dragon Age 2 and as well as Inquisition. Her personality has made some rather significant changes as well. So the Keeper finally found someone to take you from here. Yes. Then finish your task quickly, human. We cannot be rid of this one too soon. Hmm. I'm sensing a story here. I have made my choice. And I will save our clan whatever you think. Sundermount seems very mountainous today, doesn't it? Lots of rock and hillside. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Let's go. We should hurry. Aside from the obvious um, physical changes to the way Mara looks, I think she also has a different voice actor. And she is much more um, self-conscious about her actions and all that kind of stuff. Now, in the first game, she didn't interact with humans at all. She just sort of um, took part in an elf origin story. So she didn't. She didn't have the interaction with humans, which might potentially be the reason why she's so self-conscious and all that kind of stuff. And she even mentions that. But she, her characterization and all that is almost completely different. If it weren't for the fact that she has the same name, and she kind of refers a little bit to her previous self, I would think she was a different character. I'm sorry. You're not really seeing the Dalish at their best. We're good people that look out for each other. Just not today, apparently. Is there anything I can do to help? It's kind of you to ask. I'm fine. Even if my people don't appreciate my efforts, I must see this through. Let's go. Ashabella Nar isn't known for her patience. Okay, she isn't really part of our group, not yet at least. She doesn't have a she's not a she doesn't have a portrait here or anything like that. So we can't control her quite like we can control the other characters. Okay, my key bindings are screwed up, that's why I couldn't zoom out. kill me. Uh, it's kind of screwed up. The The only character that I have that does melee attacks properly would be Caesar, my dog here. <laughs> uh, a hawk I'm using as a bow and arrow character. Obviously Varric does uh, ranged attacks. Then there's uh, Bethany, who's a mage. And well, Meryl over here is a mage, too, even though I can't really control her. Okay, it's not really what I'm set up to do, but I'm going to go melee with Hawk. Character movements are unfortunately limited. Oh, somebody was here. Making a ham. Silverite! Let's do some killing. Oh, shit.
Unfortunately, we're still rather early in the game, so none of these enemies are going to be proven to be too difficult. Wow, that thing is tough. Taking a lot of beatings. Seal of House Talwain. I do not know what that is. Dead guy. Shade. Shadow Warrior. Guy's got some hits to take. Sword's not in his hand, though. Oh, I'm staggered. Shade had money. <laughs> All right, let's get moving. Okay, this is where we're at. This is where we gotta get through. But let's check out, see if there's anything over here I can take. Yep. I can open the way forward. One moment. Blood magic. I felt the veil shift. You called something here. Are you insane? Yes, it was blood magic, but I know what I'm doing. The spirit helped us, didn't it? The barrier is gone, certainly. Surely there is a safer way. Be careful up ahead. Restless things prowl the heights. In the days of Arlathan, the elders came here to sleep. Uthanara, the endless dream, they called it. But they don't sleep peacefully anymore. Okay, what Meryl just did was used blood magic. Blood magic is something that is very much feared in this world, in, uh, in Dragon Age, because, well, it seems to sort of invite demonic possession. A mage will use their own blood as a sort of incantation, in an incantation, to perform magic beyond what normally their abilities should be. Now, Meryl, as innocent as she seems, is flirting with this blood magic, and it's potentially, potentially a very dangerous thing. Oh, shit. Disabling traps. Oh, that's right, I'm not using the, the, the knives anymore. I'm using the not daggers, not the, the bow. <laughs> I'm trying to use abilities I couldn't use. Oh man, he's summoning shades. I got this. Got 
Did not see that there. It's a trap here also. Oh. I didn't really need to go this way, but I'm doing it anyway. Just to see what's there. Might be something worth getting. Might be a little bit of time before I come back here. Since my character is a rogue, she can unlock some of these. Now, the, her use of blood magic might potentially be one of the reasons why she is being displaced from her home among the Dalish. Even the Dalish, with their sort of desire to exist outside of human uh, society, still have some of the same fears. And their understanding that blood magic is a dangerous thing seems to be shared between the two different societies. So, well, Meryl is leaving her world because they probably, because they fear her blood magic and the kind of carefree attitude she takes towards these dangerous forms of magic. Now, I'm not sure what what she thinks she is going to be encountering when she comes to uh, live in Kirkwall, because humans will add the whole blood mage thing with her being an elf, and, well, the interaction she's going to have with them probably aren't going to be that great. But she doesn't know that yet. <laughs> oh, my characters are falling. Meryl's still alive, though. Run, 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 fool, run. Okay, I had to heal. up. Flee, fool, flee. Ha, I'm down. What? I think it's safe now. Place the amulet on the altar and I'll begin the right. Oh yeah, I got him. <laughs> it's because I was screwing around in the beginning of the fight. That's what happened. One of the people. I see. So young and bright. Do you know who I am beyond that title? I know only a little. Then stand. The people bend their knee too quickly. So refreshing to see someone who keeps their end of a bargain. I half expected my amulet to end up in a merchant's pocket. I agreed to deliver the amulet. 
you could have told me you were inside it. Just a piece. A small piece. But it was all I needed. A bit of security, should the inevitable occur. And if I know my Morrigan, it already has. Is that someone I should know? She's a girl who thinks she knows what is what better than I or anyone. <laughs> and why not? I raised her to be as she is. I cannot expect her to be less. I'm not sure whether she's your daughter or your enemy. Neither is she. Why did you need me to bring you here? Because I had an appointment to keep. And because I did not want to be followed, you smuggled me here quite nicely. I don't understand. Are you some kind of vision? <laughs> Must I be in only one place? Bodies are such limiting things. I am but a fragment cast adrift from the whole, a bit of flotsam to cling to in the storm. A fragment? You do not need to understand, child. Know only that you may have saved my life, just as I once saved yours. An even trade, I think. You have plans, I take it. Destiny awaits us both, dear girl. We have much to do. Before I go, a word of advice. We stand upon the precipice of change. The world fears the inevitable plummet into the abyss. Watch for that moment, and when it comes, do not hesitate to leap. It is only when you fall that you learn whether you can fly. Cheap advice from a dragon. We all have our challenges. We're going to regret bringing her here. Regret is something I know well. Take care not to cling to it. To hold it so close that it poisons your soul. When the time comes for you of regrets, remember me. As for you, child, step carefully. No path is darker than when your eyes are shut. Marceranus Ashabellana. Now the time has come for me to leave. You have my thanks and my sympathy. Well, that was something. That guy down there notice this? Any of them notice what just happened? That was Flemeth. What I can assume she was talking about when she said that... Um, that we may have saved her life, she may be referring to the fact that the hero of Ferelden, not long after the events where she rescued us, found her and killed her in certain versions of the story. So here we are. We've gone and basically smuggled Frel uh, Flemeth out of Ferelden and she's gone off to do ooh, who knows what. And uh, you can imagine it's probably not good. Maserana's child, your debt is paid in full. It isn't too late to change your mind, Dalen. Darith Shiral, Keeper. I'm ready. Let's depart. <laughs> <laughs>